Hello everyone. Uh, this is part 17 of my Byzantium Civilization 5 game. Uh, this is up to turn 1277. Um, it looks like I'm probably going to end up with a cultural victory. If you want to know what settings I used for the game and uh, also what mods. Uh, go back and watch the beginning of part one. In the meantime, I'll uh, keep on uh, trucking through here. Um, right. Oh, it's a great musician. This is excellent news. Uh, I need to mine the uranium there. Uh, the musician should give me a uh, shot at uh, catching up properly on the tourism for Poland, uh, which is my uh, particularly uh, big uh, rival here. If I were to send out some uh, units and actually explore the uh, rest of the world, uh, there's a really good chance I could get a um, uh, political uh, victory. Um, right. Uh, but uh, I don't expect uh, that's going to be worth the effort here. As you can see, I've played almost the entire game without exploring any of the map. Uh, and that's mostly because I haven't needed to. Uh, I've actually met some of the uh, uh, city-states uh, simply by virtue of them declaring war on me because their allies did. Um, okay, so... Uh, we're trucking along with the international games. It's at 12%. Uh, I've got 2100 uh, uh, production into it. Uh, the uh, project should need uh, six, uh, what is it, uh, 12 times the uh, second place total uh, because there was 12 civilizations on this map at the start. Uh, right, I built a hotel here. Uh, I think I'll go for a factory now. So, uh, to guarantee I get first place, I need uh, six times the 2160. So, that's uh, roughly 13,000 uh, uh, production in there. Uh, meanwhile, I'll run a concert tour here, and uh, let's just take a look at what that has accomplished. Uh, that got quite a lot closer to uh, to the the top there. Um, so that will uh, certainly help. Uh, I may need to actually target the Celts with uh, great musicians. Uh, that's not uh, immediately clear. Um, right, I also want to check to see uh, if... Okay, so I'm going to pick up a great writer here for next turn. So I really want to get uh, that rationalism opened up so I can grab a few great scientists to uh, max out the tech tree. Or at least come a lot closer to doing so. That'll probably be the last great, uh, uh, great writer that I'll be purchasing with faith. 
Uh, okay, Poland has finished the Manhattan Project now. Uh, right. Uh, I'm going to put this on the International Games. Uh, one of the advantages of first place on International Games is it doubles uh, tourism uh, for 20 turns, which is uh, really quite useful. Anyway, I'll do a political treaties. I'll uh, open this up. And this is actually giving gold from science buildings, which is helpful. Uh, and then uh, uh, this one, the only reason I pick it is to max out rationalism so that I can purchase great scientists. So as you can see, I'm about 21 turns away from that, so... Uh, I will be able to do that. Uh, as these uh, other cities uh, come along and finish their existing projects, I'll switch them over to the International Games as well. As ideally, I want to freeze the other guys out of even second place, which is not going to happen, uh, simply simply because uh, Poland is going to have uh, substantial uh, production available due to the number of cities they have. Now, um, how's this? I am not likely going to uh, make the uh, guaranteed uh, first place on it. Uh, Poland might actually take first place in this game. Uh, but I really do want first place simply so I can get uh, the uh, free uh, social policy and uh, the tourism boost. Okay. Uh, right. But I have a good chance at getting first place anyway. It depends how contentious it is with the other civilizations. I don't actually know how big the other civilizations are uh, because I haven't explored the map. So I don't know how many cities I'm actually uh, competing with here. And I also don't know uh, whether the AI is prioritizing the project or not. Okay, Poland has gone to war with Sweden. Ah, right, I need to re-establish a trade route there. I have lots of gold here, so at some point I'll probably uh, start working on um, on uh, uh, upgrading units. That's what that's uh, what I was going to do. Uh, meantime, I'm going to get a caravan here because I think it'll reach Constantinople from here. If not, I can build the caravansary, and it should. And I can't get a boat through, but if I have the granary in here, um, I do. So I can build a uh, caravan here, too. And that'll max out my trade routes for now. Okay, that's worth taking the deal. Just make sure that, yeah. So that gets a, uh, 
a few more votes on my side for lifting the ban on silver. Okay, so the third done, I have 5,100 production in there. So uh, that's actually moving along quite significantly. Um, I really should build a factory here, but I'll do that after the international games. Uh, okay, I can I? Oh, yep, yeah, I can reach Constantinople from there, and that means I should be able to from here. Uh, now I'm just going to take a look here. Um, right. Uh, so I got 116 surplus on the food, so that means I'm going to be having a substantial growth rate in Constantinople now. Uh, that's intentional. Uh, as it gets bigger, it's going to get more science, um, more gold, uh, and more happiness for the empire as well uh, due to social policies. So in a couple turns I'll have a size 42 city. And I see my puppet uh, uh, cities are building amphitheaters and so on so that's kind of nice. Um, yeah. Sixty five hundred. I might get the guaranteed first place number. Uh, it's actually uh, worth taking the time to win the uh, big projects like that. Uh, combined arms. Okay, now I am researching computers. Um, oh, I've become influential with um, six uh, civilization so it's now down to Poland and the Celts uh, Poland is still falling Celts is rising slowly hmm okay well that's uh, moving along nicely a unit oh right I need to reestablish the uh, trade there Yep, I made it with Ethiopia to influential, and that's uh, kind of nice. Uh, so I've got, uh, what, 14 turns on the uh, next social policy. Might be I should declaration of friendship with Poland at this point uh, to get the uh, tourism modifier. Out of curiosity, uh, what does this look like from the perspective of Poland? Um, <laughs> yeah, so Poland is uh, fighting with me. Uh, <laughs> much harder uh, a fight. So I'm definitely not going to lose on, a, on tourism uh, because uh, there's no way that uh, they could even culture bomb me up to there. Um, yeah, how about the Celts? Yeah, it's even worse. So, yeah. Uh, even a culture bomb isn't, uh, a really effective culture bomb isn't going to be a threat. At least not in the game time remaining. 7,800 what happens when you have massive production going on see having a sprawling empire is really good for these uh, uh, um, cooperative uh, projects uh, it makes it so much easier to uh, uh, to get a lot of production to bear on it quickly uh, unlike if you're building a tall empire where uh, uh, you might need your what you're building in your other cities to actually get built. Uh, 
I'm actually saving gold up right now uh, intentionally uh, so that I can use it to uh, uh, bribe city-states uh, to keep my uh, influence up. I want to make sure I keep the city-state allies I have for when the world enters the next era with the United Nations. If I do, that means I'll be able to get the uh, leadership like, or hosting of the United Nations. So while I'm thinking about it, I'm going to uh, bump these up. Okay, this one is up to 163. I'll bump Mombasa up by uh, one more chunk. Uh, that's not a city-state. That is. Uh, since I have the gold laying around and I'm thinking about it right now, I'll bump this one more because it's a hostile one, so it's going to lose faster. And Prague is also hostile. Um, now, uh, that's 170. That's not a big deal. That's 124. 88. Ormus is the one. And that's got the uh, the uh, gold gifts are more effective. Panama is 165. Tyre is 124. Okay, I'll take advantage of this. Good. So that should make it so that I don't lose any city-state allies. Uh, before the next uh, era begins for the world. Um, I should send an archaeologist over to this uh, antiquity site over here. Uh, a unit needs orders. What? Oh, it's a caravan. Uh, that's easy. Um, right, how's this doing? Ooh, 10,000. Yeah, that's uh, substantially rocking along. Uh, I might actually... Uh, well, I'm gonna. I'm pretty much going to hit the guaranteed first place on that. Okay. So that's why I spent so much time uh, buffing up my cities rather than building units and going to war. Uh, if I built the units and went to war, I could certainly still win the game, but I have a better chance on the cultural side of it by buffing my cities and winning these uh, cooperative projects. Okay, so that was... Uh a uranium mine complete. I'm looking for other resources to improve. Uh, oh, that's a uh, trade that's easy to deal with. And let's, okay. So I've got me a great engineer. So when I research computers, I can tag the, uh, hurry the uh, great firewall. And that will, uh, Limit the spying uh, by the uh, other civilizations and also uh, mean that it, when they research internet, it won't uh, be quite so useful to them. And that's really why you need to build the Great Firewall if you're aiming for a cultural victory. If you don't, then there's a good or a much better chance somebody else is going to uh, beat you uh, to influential.
Now, of course, there's nothing stopping uh, uh, two uh, civilizations from being mutually influential. Uh, that's uh, certainly possible. Okay, so Pentagon can be built. Um, okay, well, I'll switch that over to International Games for the turn or two it's going to take. I'll build the oil well there. Okay. Okay, I think this is the fastest I've ever seen the international games get completed. Uh, that probably means Poland has put quite a few cities on it as well. The AI isn't as good at uh, managing uh, production and so on as a human player, at least at this level. Oh, I've met another city-state. That's uh, uh, interesting. Um, right. No ally there. You know what? I'm going to... Uh, pick that one up, too. Well, there's another city-state down here. This is city-state row. A city-state megalopolis. See, this is the thing with the uh, the city-states is if you don't have somebody out there wailing on them and conquering them uh, somehow, uh, you can really bribe your way into a victory. A uh, political victory. A diplomatic victory, I guess is what it's called. Um, just by having lots of gold on hand. Which, as I understand it, is the main strength for Venice. Which can only ever build one city. I might have to try that one of these times. Uh, is uh, uh, Give it a shot with uh, Venice. So, uh, not surprisingly, uh, Poland was second, um, and the Celts were third. And yet, this actually makes sense. Attila, I think Attila's down to like one or two cities, so that's probably why. Um, right. So that means uh, I get a free social policy, Tourism increase doubles for uh, 20 turns. Um, and I get a, a plus 30 influence with the city-states. And uh, some happiness also. Which is all really, really nice. Uh, so I'll pick up my social policy, which is here. I have completed rationalism, so now I get a free um, policy, uh, or, or tech rather. I will take the most expensive one out there. That bumps me up to the information era. It gets me another spy. Uh, so I should set up the spy somewhere. Uh, so I'll do that. Uh, Polynesia, Poland, uh, Ethiopia. Yeah, I think I'll go with Ethiopia. Uh, this is the unassigned one. Uh, Ethiopia. Diplomat. Okay. Uh, good. International Games is done. Um, friends with them. Okay, now for construction projects. 
Um, right, so I'm going to build the factories. And here in Constantinople, uh, oh, I have a hotel in all my cities. CN Towers, free broadcast tower in all cities, plus one pop. Okay. Uh, yeah, National Visitor Center would be a really good thing to build. Um, what do I have here? Um, build the airports, actually. Uh, Yeah, I'll build the uh, airports. Oh, solar plant there. Uh, what here? Well, go for airport there. Uh, what about here? Well, a windmill seems like it might be good there. Uh, over here, I'll build the airport. Uh, right, I'll build the forge there. Okay, this is uh, moving along nicely here. And I'm going to get a social policy real quick as well, uh, which uh, I will probably uh, take a look at uh, at the... Uh, ah, here we go, UN. Uh, six for host, uh, okay, uh, voting, and I will actually be able to win this vote. I do not have enough delegates for a world leader win, though, as you can see. Um, so I'll commit that. And let's take a look here. Yeah, I've pretty much finished out everything there. Three turns for computers. And what I'm, I think I'm going to target satellites uh, next scientifically. Uh, so Poland stayed host all the way up until the information era, uh, which is uh, quite impressive, actually. Um, right. What am I going to do with my worker here? Well, I could, of course, just improve stuff around here, and maybe I'll do that. Uh, right. Okay. Uh, once I get computers, uh, I guess I want the, to target internet actually uh, for the uh, tourism boost from that. Actually, I should check on the uh, uh, progress on the uh, uh, tourism uh, in, uh, cultural thing. Um, okay, I can do a policy. Okay, so let's take a look at ideology. Uh, 
was, was there an, a nice tenant in here? Uh, happiness from those. Yeah, that was a nice one. Um, this improves great person yields. New deal would be good too. Yeah, I'm going to go with new deal. Um, so that should uh, increase the yield from these things uh, significantly. Um, right, so um, choose production here. I finished a solar plant, now what? Uh, airport. And, uh, oh, right. I'll just do something with that worker. Um, I think the Huns are coming to attack. Okay, that's computers. So I'll get this stuff sorted out here. Uh, research. Okay, open tech tree. Satellites. Oh, yeah, I want to go with the internet first. Then I think globalization. Then satellites. Yeah, that's how I want to play that. Okay. Right. Great firewall. Hurry that. Okay. Now. I want to watch what this uh, artillery here does. Maybe it's just passing through. The AI uses uh, units for the, the most improbable reasons sometimes. Uh, I've seen them using uh, settlers to uh, explore. Um, okay, there's the Great Firewall. Um, right, what was I building here? National Visitor Center. Uh, right, I wanted to check on this. Uh, so, the Celts, 115 if it stayed the same, 163 on Poland if it stays the same. So yeah, I definitely uh, just need to uh, get my uh, uh, tourism up substantially and I should be good. And maybe uh, another great musician. Oh, right. Um, how many turns left on that? I don't know. It doesn't say. Um, right, I should, uh, I can buy great scientists with faith now. Oh, that's nice. I'll bulb him. That gives me the internet. There we go. So that's a substantial boost there for uh, a while. Uh, right. Um, great scientist. And I think I can do another one. Yep. Okay. Keep on going here.
I don't think I'm going to win in this part, but uh, I'm pretty sure I'll win in the next one. Uh, right, I need to reset that. I'm up to 45 in Constantinople, so I'll bulb the scientists there. So that's globalization. <clears throat> and I'll bulb this one. That's uh, uh, rocketry. So now I can uh, actually upgrade my, uh, uh, like, get rocket artilleries if I actually want to go for a fight. Uh, seven turns will get me satellites, so I'll actually be able to see what the whole map looks like. That will be nice. I'm going to start building airports in these cities once the, uh, or not airports, um, uh, I'm going to catch up those uh, remaining wonders. Okay, production where? Okay, I finished an airport there. Uh, okay, I can actually build the Apollo program. Military. Uh, yeah, I'll go for a recycling center there. Oh, it's 618 tourism now. This is uh, pretty substantial, actually. Okay, so I built an airport there. Um... Okay, so I'll work on the Pentagon there. And I'll work on the CN Tower there. And here, um, a factory. Yeah, it seems like a good uh, breakdown of things to do. Uh, let's take a look here. Um, well, that's dropped the Celts to 45 turns if I could keep that up. And Poland even less. Of course, when that uh, boost from the International Games wears off, this will go down by half. Uh, so it'll be, what, 318 instead. trade management so real soon now okay we'll keep the open borders there real soon now I'm going to get to see what the whole map looks like and that should be entertaining I actually don't know I know it's Pangea but I don't know anything about most of it I'll be able to see how big my uh, opponents are sprawl wise. Uh, right.
Okay, it looks like somebody's fighting with Prague. That might just be barbarians marauding. I could look if it actually mattered, but it doesn't. Okay, so I'm going to see the whole map right away here. Okay. Satellites. El Dorado. Krakatoa. Sri Prada, Sri Pada. Uh, okay. Okay, so there's uh, quite a few large empires. Poland is huge. Uh, who's this? That is... Ah. Okay, and I wondered up here... Yep, there is no way for me to get a workboat into there. That's what I thought. Okay, I would have had to have the city here or here. Um, right, okay. Right, uh, research, open tech tree. Um, well, if I do that, there's a giant death robot, uh, and that. I believe that gets me all the spaceship parts. And then, if I do that, okay, so that uh, will close out the tech tree. Uh, right. Moving on. Okay, I finished what? A factory. Okay. Uh, what to build over here? What's the Hubble Space Telescope give? Two free great scientists. Right, so I'll build that. Well, I'll build an airport there. So I'll build that in Constantinople. Um... Okay, I'm going to collect me a great engineer. Um, he's only offering iron. No. So I actually have a pretty solid industrial base here. So if I did decide to play out the game as one of Total World Conquest... Uh, I could probably build up a sufficient uh, army that I could take down Poland. Uh, and if I did that, I, I would have a massive industrial base. I'd be able to take down everybody else. Um, that engineer can sleep. Uh, so three turns, I'll have the National Visitor Center. Um, 
My tourism should be going back down real soon now. Trade management. Tedious as anything. Okay, I finished an airport there. Uh, recycling center. You know what? I'm going to build the Apollo program there. Next turn. I'm up to 47 in Constantinople. Um, I can't remember how high my capital got in the previous game. I could look at the... Uh, okay, yeah, we'll do the open borders thing. Uh, I'm not overly worried about an invasion. If I do get invaded, I might lose a city or two, but I'll be able to take them back pretty quickly, as I do have the industrial base to do that to uh, manufacture a uh, an, an army real quick. Uh, okay. Well, I'll just do some random improvements since there's nothing else to do doing there. Uh, trade management some more. Uh, what did I... So that was an airport. Um, well, museum there. And... What here? Well, build an airport there. Next turn, I get the National Visitor Center. Um... Yeah, we'll we'll do that. Uh, right. A great writer would be nice about now. So I think there's a third level ideology tenet that uh, will be extremely uh, useful for, say, trying to do a science victory. I can't remember. I think there's one under freedom where you can actually purchase spaceship parts um, choose production here uh, yeah it did go back down uh, right Hubble Space Telescope and hurry So I'll be able to bang through, I think, a couple of more uh, uh, techs as a result of this. Uh, right. Uh, I have... Okay, I'll build an airport there. That should make a huge difference. Right, right, okay, there's nuclear uh, fission and mobile tactics. Good, that's uh, moving along nicely. So this here demonstrates why 
you really want to uh, build up your faith even if you don't manage to get a religion. Uh, well, you know, getting some extra great people, uh, it makes a big difference in the end game. And uh, as a result, uh, it can uh, change the... It can take you from uh, uh, losing to uh, uh, being in a good position to win. Uh, I'm going to need to uh, deal with the uh, happiness problem here. I'm just about to uh, need that. So that might mean I have to go and buy a Colosseum or two. Or stadiums. I'll lose the 10% science boost from rationalism if the uh, empire goes unhappy. Let's see, how's this coming? 20 turns for, to uh, get popular in Poland, 44 for the Celts. So it looks like I've pretty much got it nailed. Um, so I, I'll probably end up having a short uh, final part comparatively uh, unless something happens that where th if this number goes up dramatically I might just run out in this part to the end of the game or like a great musician or something would bring me a lot closer uh, obviously I don't have enough faith to buy one that would be nice at this point but since I used so many of them before, earlier. Uh, right, okay, that's needing to be reestablished. Uh, so is that one. Uh, right, what have I got here? Well... A bank seems useful. Wait, uh, you know, what are my other options? Yeah, a bank. Okay. Oh! Why did Carthage make that announcement? Uh, right. And up to 48 in Constantinople now. Okay, I'm going to get an airport in Constantinople. We'll see what that does to everything. Oh, that uh, was a dramatic uh, increase. Uh, right. Okay, so that's a caravan. Uh, 
that's a caravan. And I have built a huge amount of stuff here. Well, recycling center seems like an idea. Not like I'm short on aluminum, but why not? Okay, I'm going to get advanced ballistics here next turn. I wonder if Constantinople will make 50 uh, citizens before the end of the game. Before the victory happens. Uh, right, Jews production where? Okay, so I got a factory there. Um... build an airport and I'm just gonna take a quick peek in here 12 turns 33 okay yeah if it's gonna be 33 turns then I'll definitely need to uh, uh, go into a, another part but we'll see Uh, actually, what I want to check, well, first of all, uh, well, I'll build a stable there. Uh, I want to check, um, right. Which great people I can afford? Yeah, none. Uh, okay. Well. to uh, re-establish spying somewhere, probably. Um, that's going to change the equation, though, on the tourism. Uh, right, what have I uh, built here? Well, I'll go for research there now. Um, okay, so Constantinople's going to finish what it's building here. Yeah, Sweden's down to one city by the look of it. Okay, production in Constantinople. Well, I could build a nuclear plant, but I don't really need one. So, research it is. Uh, I just want to take a quick look in here. Uh, Celts, 29 turns. Poland, 10. Okay. So I'll, I'll run a couple more turns here, and we'll see... Uh, what happens uh, from the perspective of tourism is it uh, just wouldn't uh, make any sense to okay yeah that's fine it just wouldn't make any sense to uh, stop it and make a 10 minute uh, wrap up part Right. Uh, 
I've got these uh, wonders uh, building here a factory there Pentagon Well, there's a great artist. Um, I could build a, I could go for a uh, golden age or a great work. I'll go for a great work. Okay, so that's uh, increased uh, tourism a bit. Um, so I'm just going to take a boo in here. Seven turns there now. 27, so the Celts have a stronger uh, culture per turn than uh, Poland does, by the look of it, <clears throat> compared to... Okay, Carthage is... They went for order? Really? They're going to have a revolution. Okay. Ah, finished a stable there. Uh, I'll go for a research lab. Uh, and what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to cut the part here. Uh, that'd be make the, the end of part 17 and I'll pick up in part 18 and if part 18 turns out to be really short I'll edit the two together uh, but I think given the uh, length of time these turns are taking that it's going to be too long to keep it in part 17 so I'll see everyone back for part 18